Hey guys, if you've been playing Remnant 2, then you're probably wondering, can you change your class and how do you get to multi-class? You're probably worried if you picked the wrong class and then you might have to make a new character, or you might just be wondering, when can you finally unlock that multi-class? Because we were wondering this for ages while playing. Well, don't worry, we've got you covered here. It's actually quite a simple system and kind of easy to understand. So, the way that this works is when you are in the Ward 13 sort of hub area, you have access to a bunch of different vendors. These vendors will sell items that are effectively called engrams that you can then use to unlock the other classes. So let's go through this first and I'll show everything in the menus a little later on. So here we are in Ward 13. There's a few shops that sell particular items and I'm going to show you each one and what class they actually correspond to. So first of all, if we come over here to our Brabus, I think his name is, and you go in his shop, he sells all of the different weapons and all that kind of stuff. But you may notice down here, I don't actually have the scrap for it myself. I'm a bit poor in game. I've been upgrading everything. But the rusty metal here is a material, which is quite interesting because it's, you know, these are all weapons. Why is he selling material? This rusty metal corresponds to the hunter class. So if you want the hunter class, you would have to buy this. That's for both changing to the hunter or multi-classing into the hunter. You will require this material. So you will need 1500 scrap per class that you want to unlock. So a little bit of farming, but there's actually an additional cost on top of that, uh, which I'll go over soon. So that's where you get the hunter class from. Next, I'm going to show you where you get the challenger, the medic and the handler. So if we go over here and we talk to, I think this guy is, is Reggie, Reginald. He sells the old metal tool. This one will give you the challenger archetype. So if you want to go more melee tanky or something like that, you will need to buy this for 1500 scrap. Next to him though, is our friend over here. I've already bought it, but from here, you will basically be able to buy a dog whistle and that will give you the handler class. It's not in the shop for me because I've already bought this because I am already specced into the handler as my multi-class option, as you can see here in the menu. But don't worry, I'll explain more in the menu as we go through. But for the medic, you wanna go over here, sort of thematically, as you can see, this lady sells a lot of healing consumables and buff items but amongst all the stuff she sells is also the medic pin here and this will be needed for the medic class so depending on what class you want you will have to buy this material for the gunslinger class if you didn't pick that as your default you will basically get that by progressing through the main story so you don't have to worry about buying anything for the gunslinger class once you have the material that you you know for the class that you want you then want to run where i am so from the crystal here and we're going to need to talk to I think it's Wallace. He's he's up here uh, in this scrap metal kind of area. So we're going to run over there and check that out. He's actually a really cool vendor because you can also upgrade the maximum number of relic hearts that you have. You can see at the bottom left corner I have six, but you can, you can basically buy more and there are items that will also give you additional charges. And it's at this vendor that you can also reset your trait cards if you so want to. There is a cost to all of this though. So if we talk to uh, talk to Wallace... You can see here we can buy an additional relic charge or we can buy this orb of undoing to reset our trait points but when you buy that material which i'll overlay on the screen now you can then actually buy the class itself so you you use that material that you spent money on you then spend another thousand scrap and 10 luminite crystals so you will have to farm per class that you want to unlock and that will allow you to buy the engram for that secondary class and what this means is when you go into your menu and you go to your archetype page, you can see here I'm a level 10 gunslinger and a level 5 handler. The way that you change classes is to basically hover over your default class, click on it, and then you will have the options for all of the other classes. So you can see here I have the handler class, and that would allow me to swap my default class into being a handler. So you can see for my multi-class, it swapped them around. So now I have the bonded prime perk, and I'm level 5 on my default class. That's how you change your default class, and disclaimer, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I believe you can do this at any point as long as you bought the stuff from the vendor and from Wallace. But if you want to get the multi-class, the secondary class option, this one on the right, the only prerequisite is that you need to be level 10. You don't have to finish the game or anything like that. We actually tested this ourselves. You just have to hit level 10, the maximum level for that, for your default class that you started the game with or whatever you swap into. And once you hit 10, that will then allow you to pick your multi-class option. So you can see here, 
you can then click on that and simply select the class that you want. I have some additional classes here unlocked, but I won't spoil them just yet for you guys. So we can then click on that again and boom, we're back to how we were. Primary gunslinger, secondary handler. Remember your primary your primary class, sorry, is always going to give you the prime perk for that class. So your secondary class, you get the skills, you get the perks and the trait card, but you won't get the prime perk of your secondary class. So for gunslinger, I have the loaded perk. If we switch back to handler, it would allow our dog to revive our teammates. That's effectively the way it works. It's not super clear, at least at the beginning, because those vendors sell items. They don't really tell you exactly what they do, but you buy them, you come to Wallace, you then buy the actual class itself for a second time with that scrap and luminite crystals. Then you go to your archetype page in your menu and you just click in these actual rings where the, uh, the symbol for the class actually is. And that's pretty much it. That's how you go about changing your class. If you have any tips that you want to share, definitely put them down in the comments below and we can all learn together as a community. I've been loving this game so far. There's so much depth and cool things, missable bosses and stuff like that. It's an absolute blast. So thank you for watching guys and the two videos on screen now. We think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.